What's up guys, it's your boy Justin with a new comic book review. Today I'm reviewing Ultimate X-Men Issue 2 by Peach Momoko. This is the variant edition. I can never get the um I can never get the main cover. Which I don't even know what the main cover looks like. Cause I even know this this comic book came out. Uh because usually my comic book guy updates the new comics on his website. But he didn't have this. And it, it was just a coincidence that he had it there when, uh, like, he had it. I get Well, I no, it was a coincidence I asked for it. And he just happened to have it. It's like, holy crap. I didn't even see reviews for this on YouTube. So, yeah, this comic book is about this girl develops superpowers. And there's a... There's a shadowy figure that's threatening to kill uh, all the people that bullied her, her friend who died. Sorry, the why was I standing up? Oh my god! So you see a flashback, and the dude, the the shadow being, which the people are saying is the Shadow King from the Generation X. I don't know, man. So we get introduced to this character named May, who also has mutant powers, and her mutant powers are very similar to Storm. She, no, she somehow knows that our main character has superpowers and caused that uh, car accident that happened. So yeah, she gets a letter while she was sleeping. She gets a note saying to go to this, uh, uh, go goes. To this abandoned building, which I read this a couple days ago, so forgive me if my memory is not too keen. And they see this uh, this uh, security guard, and the security guard turns into basically a monster and chases them. And th here we get we see her. Uh, manipulate win when earlier we're, we saw her use like you know electric power so it's obviously she's supposed to be like the storm of this universe and we also get introduced to this fat kid whoever he is so yeah and we find out oh yeah th three kids died or was it four what was it uh, three students yeah yeah and they were all bullying the one kid. So that's how the issue ends. So, um, not much happened. Uh, it was pretty quick read. I think I should have just waited for the graphic novel. If this gets a graphic novel, who knows? But yeah, I noticed that my comic book guy didn't have as many copies of issue two as issue one. So I don't know if issue two was selling well. Which, by the way. The next issue is supposed to come out in April, according to this thing. Oh my god, and they're also relaunching Ultimates? Holy crap, I didn't know that. Do I have to buy that? I don't know, we'll see. Is that Valkyrie? In June. Oh my god. We'll see. And yeah, this is on sale in April. Didn't this come out in April? What the hell? Or did it come out last month? I'm so confused, guys. <laughs> yeah, so that's it for this review, guys. If I would ask, uh, 6 out of 10. Peace out.